Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the OVAs episodes one and two of technically season two of My Otome. So let's go ahead and get started. Episode one and three, two, one, go. Your girl literally ran into a problem. Like, okay, so I had the files of this and everything. There was no subtitles on it, so I had to hurry up and get this ish done. And then plus my mom wanted me to play a uh, soul beater with her. I know, beat saber, oh my god, I'm sorry. See, it makes you kind of wonder, especially because even though this flew over my head, Nina being the princess and everything, um, will she possibly come back? Even though, like, yeah, she's finally with Sergei, she's happy, she doesn't have to worry about anything anymore, but, I mean, maybe she secretly wants to come back. And of course, Arik is just going to go for it. My mom, I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus.
Well, that was easy, right? I mean, why didn't we just start with that in the first place, you know? Well, like a big old firework. That was the thing that possessed Mina, right? Unfortunately. I can't with my mom, I'm sorry. But hold up, why, can't, why don't you even know her whereabouts, though? I'm guessing because Nina doesn't want anybody to look for her and Sergey. <laughs> Girl, Nina over here like, no, mm-mm. I said goodbye to my princess days and my Atome days on that last episode. <laughs> That was the cutest what I've ever heard. Oh my god.
I wanted to see the freaking Machiro Aoi reunion, but you know, he just decided no, like, uh -uh, we ain't showing that in the original series. What's up, Arika? And then you still sometimes wonder how these two were able to make it work, even with the fact that they argue like a married couple. But you know what? It's okay. They are a married couple. It just works for them. You just never know. Oh shit. It was a fight. I mean, come on. Like I said, you fight like a married couple. Her earrings are so pretty. I'm not sure you better watch up. <laughs> Yeah, um, you know, your girlfriend, she a little, um, 
not under the weather, just MIA. Let's just say that. MI freaking A. Oh, and she and the thing takes appearance of every single person that it's turned into stone. That's smart. Mm. I mean, does this thing want to be human at the end of the day or something? I mean, because it's here to prove a point at the end of the day. I know, right? What the fuck? Now's not the time to fight, girls. Let's go. Oh god, it got closer. Mm. 
And of course, something tells me that slave was a distraction for whatever that thing is, is to get close to them and attack all the other Otomes while, you know, there's just only, what, three here? Yeah, and it's coming toward y'all. But, I, I, you know, I don't know if that would be a slave lord. But, you know, hey, apples and oranges, you know. <laughs> Go ahead, Miss Maria. Because, like, oh, this woman did so freaking good in the finale. Oh, my God. The JoJo vibes I'm getting right now. Oh my god. It's scary. Shit. Come on, man. And I'm guessing Miss Maria is now into stone as well. It's complicated. Complicated girls. Okay, so the reason that that just happened, once again, because the girls are fighting, and, and this ain't good. Now she can't use it. Got some... <clears throat> Excuse me. That's what I want to know. I mean, we, we almost done with this first OVA. No, don't say that.
Mm-hmm. Got her. Behind you! Nina? I'm busy! What? I'm busy! I can't hear you. Busy! I'm sorry. Damn, this. <laughs> that ain't my fault. That's your fault. Okay. I am very confused right now. Alright, so wh- whoever this main villain is... I'm guessing they're they're wanting to take away everything that is somewhat important in uh, I'm about to say Nina, Arika and Machido. I mean, now the biggest thing is like that's important to Arika is Machido right now because because of that like initially she can't transform because she needs her. So it's gonna be rescuing her for three episodes. I'm guessing because that's what it seems like. I, I mean. I don't know. Whoa, God. What what the heck was this for that first episode? It's not bad. It was really good. But they, it leads a lot of unanswered questions. And what the fact is, this is only a four episode series or really a four part um, limited OVA series. Of course, it's not going to give me every little question that I need answered. Um, love the cameos of everybody. I mean, heck, I love the fact that you ended it. Before we got back to Arika and friends on Nina because I was expecting them not to really show Nina until like maybe episodes three and four possibly. But like, oh yeah, like mm -hmm. a lot of unanswered questions and unfortunately I'm not going to be able to watch it now because I got to get ready and do something else and also wait for her and such (laughs) because reasons. But um, it was really good. Like dead ass. I just have a lot of questions. It's it's wondering what the heck does this main quote unquote villain want? Um, Arika and Machido, y'all need to stop fighting for five freaking minutes. Like straight up. As I was saying, stop fighting for like five minutes. I mean, that was the thing about season one. And you would have, I I assume that by the final episode and seeing, you know, that it's a year later that these two would have matured more in relation, in their relationship and their partnership and everything. And it feels like we just went right back to the beginning with this. And, and you know, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but sometimes it's like, damn, like, you got to now sit and look at what made you guys go from... I don't like each other. We don't like each other to now we have a partnership to now where it's almost we are in a marriage with each other and we have to learn to get along. But the thing is, communication is key. And not every quote unquote couple is going to have the greatest days There are going to be some good days and bad days. And for the start of this four part series, this is their bad day for them, unfortunately. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for OVA 2. Okay, alright. OVA 2 and 3, 2, 1, go. Sorry for the long wait, even though (laughs) for me it was long, for y'all it was short. (laughs) So wait, hold up. You telling me this thing is also working with the terrorists as well?
my turn. Makes you think about Mashado. R3, R4, Nova R4, okay. Um. <laughs> you know she ain't gonna be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I love how they once you started saying something, I was like, yeah! <laughs> it's okay. It was bound to happen. Oh, uh, it's already come. Now I wonder if they're gonna show what happened with Tomoe. Like, if she did, like, cause something tell me she got arrested or they just gave her, oh damn, um, like a half ass thing. See, isn't that a little weird? Hmm. Well, she's on that bus. But it still makes me wonder, why would this person who owns the slave make Queen Machido and the rest of them disappear? Like, I understand maybe taking the other, but Machido, like, that's the one thing I'm not understanding. And it's still here, just waiting for its opportunity to take someone else. But in the end, it wants Arika. Well, what else can you do?
Are we seriously having that right now? Oh, damn. Oh. Well, you know, congratulations. She's your secretary. Tomaway? What the fuck? Yeah, he said it. Oh, um, okay. It got cold in here, oh my god. Oh! Does she not realize the situation? Yes. Oh, you shouldn't have said that. I mean, exactly what they mean, honey. You you were asleep when they took the bus by us, did you, poor baby? That is a sad way to wake up.
please tell me you're not going to negotiate yourself. She is, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Which makes sense. It's a contract. Like I said, a marriage. And then you just still, at the end of the day, you come back, you apologize, you have a nice long talk. It's the mature thing to do, babe. Yes, sometimes when we in a relationship with someone, sometimes we want to act like selfish little brats. But you know, hey, it's what we do. It's worse when somebody doesn't want to admit that they're wrong. Oh my god. Isn't she pretty? Different. And of course, it's going to go after her. It's a slave, ain't it? Mm hmm. It's got him. It is. We're, we're calling that a child? What? Uh, uh, I'm alright. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. But that still would be a term of a slave, right? Because you know what I thought it was going to be? Do you remember that monster thing that was um, 
Oh my god, I don't remember the name of it. Um, both Mashiro and Arika got ate by it. <laughs> that thing, I thought that was gonna be it. Oh, we got eight minutes left. Hmm. Uh. I don't think that's gonna work because it's still gonna regenerate itself. Okay, we already knew that it could take people who are alive. I didn't think it was going to be able to take someone who was already dead. Oh, what the hell is this OVA? Oh, we got two more episodes, and I'm not going to be able to watch them until this weekend. Exactly, because she's dead! Damn it. This thing is taking out all the freaking OPAF freaking Atomes. Oh my god. We about to have the weakest ones left by the end of this. I'm scared. Oh, fuck you.
And I'm guessing you can't turn them back to stone unless you defeat this thing, right? I really hate him. Because you want to talk about any any type of character who is a little shit. Like him, that one kid that I hate, that other kid from Game of Thrones. Like, woo, that list. like that then good I mean because I because going into the first OVA and now into this one I was assuming that Nina was not going to get contact she was not going to get anything she was going to not want to have anything to do with the Atomes anymore like I said also being a princess she was like yeah screw y'all and I'm a like <laughs> she is like I want to be with Sergey and Sergey only after that mm -mm, I, don't ask me for anything don't ask me don't message me don't call me don't let don't write no letters you can maybe write some letters to see how good i'm doing but don't ask me to come and help but i think because of what she saw in the previous one she was like i need to do this in order for the world to be right again and to be safe and whole again because if something like the since something bad like this is happening of course she's not only going to think of herself but sergey because sergey is the love of her life and that's who she wants to be with at the end of the day no matter what so she's going to do everything in her power to essentially be like yep mm -hmm, I need this place to be safe for him and I so that we can be together for the rest of our lives okay so continuing on to this I thought this OVA was a lot more better um than OVA one I'm still like I said confused on this thing so you're telling me now as I said not only can it take over people who are alive um and look almost like them but they can also look like people who are dead I was also expecting to maybe see like episode 2 being in Mashido's POV to see where in the world she is but that could happen for the last two episodes when I watch that this weekend because I think I'm going to watch both this and Bakamon on Sunday um, after the two shows that I have to do to get out and such. But, I mean, other than that, it was a really interesting episode. The fight scenes, really everything. They, and I didn't say this in the first, but they literally said for the OVAs, like, how much you want in your budget? And they were just like, yes. Like, we want everything. <laughs> there is no... <laughs> like some people they have like an estimate of certain things like okay I want from here to here they was like what's your estimate yes <laughs> we have no estimate we have no budget just put all our money up in this edge because it's gonna look pretty and it honestly really does I mean the original series the 26 episodes of that like is very like a typical it gives me like you know when you watch like a pretty cure episode and then there are some pretty cure episodes that give you like a movie quality feel that's like that with this for the first 26 episodes felt like a typical regular episode of pretty cure 
and still having good quality animation but these well the two out of the four OVAs because I'll see the other two this weekend feel like almost a full feature length movie but in four parts or how with studio oh my god is it you oh my god no the studio that does the fate series and mother effing demon slayer um how they're doing currently with demon slayer as of this weekend they're taking um a episodes two through seven as like a several part series just recapping the movie and such and i think it's really it's nice it's different but hopefully you know we get to see certain things i do love the fact that you know um Arika asks Yukino, like, hey, do you and Haruka get into fights and everything? What do you do? Because, of course, yes, they've been getting on fights back and forth. Even a year later, they're still getting into fights. And the fact is that, you know, Yukino gave her some advice was really sweet because, of course, she needs that. And I think by the time we get into the last two episodes officially this weekend, um, Arika and uh, Mashiro will be able to start anew in their relationship. Like, a new chapter for them so that they can be able to say, like, when they have an argument, they can, you know, say, you know, whatever they need to say and then maybe, like, go calm down, whatever, come back as a partner, couple, teammate, whatever, and then to talk about what you said, what you meant, apologize, this is that, the third. Because, like I said, that's typically what normal couples do. Sometimes the couples do it all in one take instead of going to go calm down and such. And some couples, and same thing with parents and child relationships and just like that, um, either they will talk it out right then and there or they won't talk to that parent for like a couple of hours and then they go talk to them and try to apologize and this is that and the third. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards OVAs 1 and 2 of season two of my Atome. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. Really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos of which one day. Join the Match Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for everybody else and next Tuesday. Well, no. Next Friday for Patreons and next Tuesday for everybody else for the final two episodes. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!